We greet everyone with the peace of the Lord Jesus. Amen. Invite those who can to stand up in reverence to reading the word of the Lord in Psalms 126. Psalms 126. Psalms 126. Psalms 126. Verse 4. Psalm 126. Verse 4. And the Bible says the following. Bring back our captivity, O Lord, as the streams in the south. Those who sow in tears shall reap in joy. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Lord, we praise you. We exalt your name because we have the assurance the heavens are open for us tonight. Our hope regarding the service has been superseded because your presence is real in our midst. That's where we rejoice tonight. Now, speak to us. And everything that has been said here tonight may be with the permission of the Holy Spirit. We pray to you in the name of Jesus. The church may be seated. I don't know if the brethren have noticed, but all the gift, gifts, spiritual gifts that have been shared with you for the service tonight have already been delivered during the praises. The Lord has identified a servant who entered here with a feelings of defeat, that she was unable to win, to be victorious. But the word of the Lord says, to win, to win, you have been called to win. And in another spiritual gift, also a servant in need of a victory in her home with her son. And the song was sang, speaking about victory. The Lord is perfect in everything that He does. Because many times our victory will come during the praises. And the psalm that we read here says, the ones he who the soul with tears will harvest with joy. It's hard to understand. You can only understand through faith. Because many times, because many times after the praise comes uh, the tears. That's why Jesus says, I seek the true worshipers that can worship me in spirit and in truth. To praise the Lord in spirit and in truth. Many times, not, even, not a single word comes out of your mouth. Sometimes only the tears roll down. Because tears, they can also speak. They are the expression of our soul. When we are no longer with, have any words to express ourselves, when we are sowing with tears, you can be sure you it will, shall doubtless come again with rejoicing, because the tears of the the righteous never are never in vain. The text that we read here says that the people now was returning from Babylon and they were already on the limits of the city of Jerusalem. They were no longer captive. They have been delivered. The word of the Lord in the book of Isaiah prophesied that the Lord was going to rise a king called Cyrus that was going to bring the people and this king sends the people to their homeland with fruitful seeds. 
And now, when the people was they are ready inside of Jerusalem, already delivered, already on the seat where the Lord has set them set aside for them, they begin to cry because the people was sowing. The, the people was sowing the seeds on the desert, but the seeds would not sprout. There would be no fruits from those seeds. And they plead to the Lord, Lord, make us go back again. In our translation says, restore again our luck, Lord. It is appropriate for the moment in which we are dealing with res restoration. Lord, restore our luck, Lord. Remember that one day you did many things in our lives and would deliver us from this situation. It was a plea and was also praise. It was a plea with tears. Lord, restore. So this plea, this verse, it goes much deeper than that. They are not only pleading for the restoration of the ground, the land, but also for the restoration of the faith of the spiritual values. Lord, bring us back to the first love. Make us return once again into our presence. We have been delivered, my, my brethren. We have been freed. We are no longer in Babylon. But it is natural to cry in the presence of the Lord. It is natural to plead in the presence of the Lord. Maybe you are here pleading to the Lord, asking, Lord, renew my strength. Restore my joy. And the Lord has heard you. Because our God is a God of victories. And the word of the Lord says the following. That the, their plea was the following. Make us go back once again. Like the currents from, that come from the south. Because they were saying to the Lord at that moment, they were saying, Lord, like those currents that come and pass through the desert, make us go back to the way we were. We were. Restore our luck, Lord, in the Negev desert, my brethren was one of the lowest places that existed in that region. When the, and, and the wind came from the south, the wind would pass over it. It would not rain in the desert. People would sow, people would throw the seed, but would never sprout. So that they're pleading, Lord, restore our, our lives according, uh, like the the winds that come from the south, because the wind would come and would be stopped by the mountains. Because after the desert of Negev, there was a, a mountain chain, and those clouds they would prevent it from passing through those mountains. So then there was a phenomenon that happened when in the mountain it rained the people would hear the sound of the waters. They knew that they could then sow. Because then the seed would, would sprout. The people was not already hearing the water because the waters were coming down from the mountains, from, from the mountain chain. But they could already hear the sound the thunders and the, the rains. Can you hear my brother? The sound of the waters? Only by faith. Who lives in the desert and Negev has to be a specialist in hearing the sound of the waters. They had not already seen the provision from the Lord. 
but they pleaded, Lord, restore our lives, Lord. And as the waters came down, all those seeds would sprout, and the desert then would flourish, and the animals would once again have life. That's why the psalmist says, Lord, we are sowing with tears, but we are going to harvest with joy. And that's what we are doing here tonight. Maybe the brother or sister may not, may not have heard the sound of the waters. But tonight the Lord is renewing our faith. The assurance that you will leave the service tonight saying, the Lord is going to give us victory. Because while we are still unable to, are unable to see, we will believe. We will believe that the Lord is acting. The Lord is operating. Thus says the word of the Lord in the book of Revelations. That for 30 minutes, uh, there was silence in heaven. How difficult, how dif difficult it is, the silence from the Lord. It is when the waters are coming down the mountains. The Lord is making silence, but God is working. The psalmist says the following, The tears may last a night, but joy comes in the morning. Observe, my brethren, for the times, for the time of tears, there a, a period was established, can last a night, but for joy, there is no time established because the blessing of the Lord remain on the life of the servant. The night will pass, but the blessing will prevail, will remain. What the Lord wants to do here in your life, in my life tonight, is what He has done one day on the Negev desert. It is what He has done once in the life of these people when they returned from captivity. The waters of the Spirit are passing through here. The waters are coming down from the mountains, from the higher heavens. If you have a seed, if you have prayer, if you have faith, the waters are going to pass through. And what is dry, what is defeat, what is trial, will be transformed in light, will be transformed in victory. Tuesday night. Not everyone wants to come to the service to be in the presence of the Lord. Some may, may not have been able to be here, but there are a few here who are going to through trial. There are a few here who are going through the Negev, but serve a God that never fails. They serve a God that sends the provision. And my brethren, Many times, the praise will be mixed. It will, be, will come together with the tears. Our assurance is that Jesus is our victory. The Lord is working. When the Lord has called us, it was not for us to walk according to what we see walk by sight. When the Lord elected each one of us here, it was so that one day we would be able to live by faith. Many times you feel like you are surrounded. That's true. Many times you may not be able to see the provision, but believe. The waters are coming down. Whoever looked to the desert after the waters had passed through, they would not recognize the desert. Was this that dry desert? Was this a place that had no life? Today, you may be sowing tears, but the body will see, many will see, and they will say, but was this that sister that was going through a trial? Was this that sister that was praying for her husband? Was this the servant who was going through a trial? 
The Lord has done great things for us. Today, we may glorify the Lord. We may praise the Lord because we believe that God is working in our behalf. Because the Lord has already provided a victory. I heard it here once. For the first time, I heard that a servant of the Lord already walks with victory. And that's true. In times, a difficulty to believe, but God has already operated in our behalf. May tonight, our faith, our hope be renewed, because in no moment the Lord has let us down, but in every moment the Lord has provided all the victories for our lives. May the Lord bless us for His word.
Glory to God. I invite the brethren to stand up. I'm going to have a word of glorification to the Lord. I will praise you because once again you can be in the house for this open door, Lord. You give us the privilege of being able to praise your, your name, Lord. Because in the midst of the tears and trials, we know that you are with us. And nothing will make us go away from your presence. Because we are made as head, not as tail. We are victorious, Lord, according to your presence, according to your hand, that give us the strength, make us victorious, bold servants, so that we may be able to speak of your love, of your grace, of your mercy. And it, it's enough for us. That's where we're here once again, praising the Lord. Even in trials, we are victorious in the name of Jesus. Amen. Lord, receive our prayer, our adoration. We praise the Lord for the visitation of the Holy Spirit. We praise the Lord for having yet another opportunity to be in your house, to feel the touch of the Holy Spirit, to be able to hear a voice, to be able to hear a voice, your message, Lord. Take us home in peace so that we may have a night of rest in your presence. Is a prayer that we say in the name of Jesus. In your name we say that the wonderful grace of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, the love of God, our eternal Father, sweet and tender consolation of the Holy Spirit, you pour out upon all of us now and forevermore. Amen. The church may be seated. We place ourselves at the disposal. The gifts have been already shared. So here is the teaching of the Lord for our lives, the blessing, the victory, the life of the church is, is a life of victories, amen. So it's reason for us to glorify the Lord. But if you still need a prayer, we are here at your disposal. And to all, uh, say the peace of the Lord.